Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Locked. 
47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Barge Al-Ghazali. Something... Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. There is something in it for you as well. I'm just curious. Oh, Nelia Stuyvesant! Oh, you're here! How wonderful! The great Carl Ghazali Magazine. Any news on the new guard assigned a codename Pinky? I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Something you're just gonna walk on all day? Did you leave the price tag on? Oh, <laughs> no. My wife sent me a link as a joke, and now all I see online are ads for these fucking shoes. There should be a box you can check when you. Okay. Check that out, would ya? Affirmative. 
Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Obviously, but come on. There's no chance. You should try to talk. Come on, what the? Ah! Oh, no, not now. This is ridiculous. Someone else deal with this shit. Keeping the big man safe, huh? Yeah, nice gig. Reporting for duty. It's about time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding Dubai? Uh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of a bodyguard. Oh, you're lucky. His Royal Highness pays better than most. Okay. You must be my new escort. I have very high standards, and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Well, this all looks very promising. Yes. Good. Oh, you worked for Darwood Rangan. Hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death. Okay, this all looks very good. Come on, let's walk. Need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you.
Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? No. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will have. Trust. I I got the right man now. What to do Thank with all that power? Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Something. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Up, 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 up. This is restricted airspace, flyboy. Someone's all kitted out. But I like listening to the radio. Our Royal Highness has never complained you about it before. Yeah. I'm sorry, but Mr. Ingram. Jeez.
so are you telling me I can't do my job? I'm sorry, Mr. Ingram gave specific Bound. instructions. No noise of any kind. All that. Okay, get it out of your system. Wow. Hey, you okay? Uh, go see a doctor or something. Huh? Oh, easy now. Don't blow a few. We got them, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Now nah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. 
She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, please. If you'd follow me. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary, and, and all this hey. security. How are you? I've never seen the place guarded like this, and... And I dare say I don't like it at all. This is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. Hey, how you doing? I will have to pad you down if you're coming this way, sir.
talk later, okay? I should get back to you. <laughs> right. right, yeah. yeah sorry. Checking out some strange noises. Stand by. Gotta dig this place. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait <laughs> with a secret mechanism for uncovering it. It's got real soul. First time here? Yep. Yeah, it's impressive, all right. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards.
peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. I demand that you return my call ASAP. Huh? Sending a junior attorney what? is gross negligence of your responsibilities there? and will have consequences for your company and you personally as well. I will make sure of that. Mark my words. Mission complete. Well done, 47. his motion was written. He signed the bloody thing four days ago. The officer. He says it was finalized, but then he said...
things around. You're going to have to keep it more specific. 